Good morning, guys. So we have a really busy day today, but we figured we'd show you guys a little updates on kind of what we were working on the last couple of days. So we finally put all the garden beds in their final resting place. Mm -hmm. And we decided to flip them around. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, this little part right here was underneath because we were gonna dig them down into the ground, but we decided to flip them and then leave these sticking out. I did go around and fill up all the garden beds with all the leaves that I'd raked out from the backyard and actually it didn't get rid of all my piles, so. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple more still. <laughs> yeah, but it took me a good while out here, yes, uh, yesterday it was, to do all this, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got my workout in yesterday. Also, we have to put plastic around on the inside of these things. Yeah, just on the walls. Just on the walls, not on the ground, and that will protect the plants and different things from the treated lumber, and it'll still allow for water to come out through the bottom. Yeah, and it'll protect the treated lumber from all the water, so. We changed the size of the uh, greenhouse. So this is gonna be a 10 by what, 16 now? Yeah, instead of an eight by 10. Right? Yeah. That's what it was originally, so it's a little bigger. Should be ready to start putting dirt in this week, but we got other projects that we are gonna start. Mm. That, you know, it's, we wanted to start because that's why we got this done so quick. Yeah, but it's pretty much ready to go. We just gotta put the dirt inside. Another thing I've been working on Roxanna, I've been working on um, is the top of the chicken coop. So, remember I said I was going to put some support beams going across the top? Well, I started working on that. And so that's coming out really well. Can you guys see how they're just ripped in half? And then they're round on the outside. And it actually works really well. I'm probably going to be cutting these tops off, the ones that are sticking up because we did get the bird netting in. So when the bird netting comes down, we're gonna have to attach it right here to these. So we're gonna get started on this uh, laundry room that's gonna go on this back portion of uh, the house. And that's gonna be on top of our deck. It's gonna be a room on the deck that's gonna be insulated. It's gonna have a window in it. It's yep. gonna be a room a just room. on the deck. Yep. We need to get that done so we can start running the plumbing because that's where the hot water heater is going to be. That's where the wash and dryer is going to be. I need to run some more um, power to it, mm -hmm. right? So we need to get that built. Uh, we're not going to be building the full deck all the way across right now. Over on this side right here, guys, get the door. But over here is where our septic stub out is going to be. It's like right here. Yeah. And so when the septic guys were over and we were looking, and he was looking at the shed and everything. He said, make sure this is clear. We can get in here and dig, you know, underneath. And so we can't build this portion all the way out of the deck until our septic's in. What we're planning on doing is pretty much to where that flashing ends for the deck. That way we can get rid of these cinder blocks and actually have some real stairs going up into it. Because, <laughs> yeah, for, you know, since nine months we've been using cinder blocks. Yeah, since they've been here, with the cinder blocks. And during those ice storms and everything, yeah, those are so unsafe. Very scary at times. You know, but <laughs> what are you going to do? just to hold it up. Yep. 
If you guys are curious why I'm marking all these, see how I marked them all? So what that is, is each one of those is marked 16 on center. And you're gonna wanna mark that stuff if you're doing a ledger like this, we found out, anyway. Mark it before you start putting your, your ledger bolts in because that's where a floor joist is gonna go. And so you don't wanna have a bolt right on where one of your floor joists is gonna be on accident. And we did it over here. Yeah, yeah, we, we had to take way. We had to take a couple out and move them over. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna mark them now. That way I know exactly where they're gonna be. Well, we got three of them up, which is pretty much how far we're gonna go with this deck right now. So it's actually pretty far. It's a little bit, you know, in the middle of Wyatt's window. So guess what? When we uh, go to finish the deck, it won't be too bad. We only got like two sections to do, so that's cool. Well, that's the living room window, though, not Wyatt's window. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. He's right. <laughs> that's the living room window, not Wyatt's. <laughs> But yeah, it looks good. Just gotta bolt these things on now. Yeah, and they're just hanging on by a nail, but we're making progress here. I'd say it's moving a little bit faster than it did on the small shed deck or Thunderdome's deck. I will say that. Underneath here, ugh, I double checked some stuff. But the way we're gonna be putting this ledger board on, since it's a little different than uh, Thunderdome, I did one little section right here I'm gonna show you. So, here's the ledger board. We ran a two by four all the way across where the ledger board's at. And then we're putting two by eight blocking in between each one of these floor joists for the house. And then that way, see the bolts sticking out? These are the structural screws, these big long bolts that are meant directly for ledgers. So basically what we're creating is a whole ledger all the way down for this ledger board. Because these sheds, ugh, excuse me, these sheds, the bottom barely sticks down at all. And you can't really put them up the ledger so it has a, a whole surface to attach to because they only use two by fours in these things. Inside, if it was two by six, you might be able to do it. Plus bring in the deck, as you can see, you're right underneath the doorway. I mean, look at how Thunderdome is, if you can see it. It's, when I mean, it goes right up into it, is how you want. And another thing I heard from you subscribers, and by the way, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, please guys. Yes. It really helps us out. It does. <laughs> But another thing from you subscribers when we were building this deck we heard a bunch is that we should put supports um you know on the deck by the house mm -hmm. and so we're going to do that this go around and put them in the middle of the deck going across mm -hmm. so we're going to have four by four posts that are going to be sitting on top of deck blocks and those will be bolted into the actual um, deck itself mm -hmm. and then that way wherever you're at on the deck um, those posts will take majority of the weight and all the weights not totally on the ledger i think the dogs like to watch this work all of them are loafing together look at you guys you guys just loafing in the sun even tanks over here loafing look so comfy girls and boys <laughs> be 21 of them 21 at like 14 inches i'll be there all day cutting wood <laughs> Not bad, I got six, six pieces out of one board, so. I guess I'll need to get four boards. But Anthony's over there patiently waiting for me to cut some. I know. <laughs> well, it took me a little while to get one cut, but I got some here you can get going now. Let's see if they fit. Just make sure because what I measured. Yep. Very good, baby. All right.
All done? Yep. All right. Last two right here. For some of you that might not know, we're using these ledger locks. These are specifically meant for ledger boards and they are engineered bolts that are designed, you know, for ledger boards. They're really, really, really strong, <laughs> like really strong. Hard to tell, but all of the ledger bolts are in place now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this ain't going anywhere. It's yeah, pretty it's pretty solid in there, and so yeah, I think it looks nice. I mean, it's just it's a ledger board, <laughs> <laughs> but it does look nice, and I can see the deck now on here with the ledger board there. That was probably going to be the hardest part of this whole thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, right, we gotta square up the deck. We gotta do all kinds of I stuff. I know, but, but see, now guys, we're like pros yeah, at, right. <laughs> at uh, squaring things off. I think so. I mean, the pole barn was good. Uh, we struggled on the deck a little bit, the Thunderdome's deck, but that was because that was our first one. The chicken coop turned out good. I think we got this, baby. Gotta make like a box. Kinda like what we did the other one. I wanna get them level. Like get the first, like the rim joist, mm -hmm. rim joist on this side, out and level. And we'll put like a two by four or two by four or two by four, don't matter. Something to hold it up. Mm -hmm. We'll just tack it on and then so we can start squaring it up and see where the holes need to get dug for the posts. Okay. All right. Nice, sir. Yeah, Midnight decided to come over here and work with us today. Hanging out out over here all morning, huh, Midnight? Should we grab a two by eight and hold it while you put the hanger so you know where to put it? So this one's gonna go right at this 10, 10 foot mark. Right there. It should be, if our idea that we're thinking worked right, it should be square. Uh, well, no. Give or take, maybe just a... Yeah, like the, it could be like this. It could be like this. Yeah. I mean, barely. But let's go find out. All right. True test, guys. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Well, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have to, we're going to have to move it. Maybe. I'm sure, but hey, maybe not. Maybe yeah. we're that good. Another corner. Well... It took a little longer to get it squared, but we got it. Yes. <laughs> yep. It... <laughs> uh, yeah, went through some uh, headaches that we quickly re realized when we were doing Thunderdome's deck. We're like, oh yeah, remember we did that? Remember we tried this? So. Yeah. So, yeah. there's a little trial and error period there, but that's okay. We, we managed to make it work. So, yep. um, I guess we're not professionals yet. We're getting there. <laughs> So if we already have the deck leveled and where it's gonna be, and we know where it's gonna go, it'll be easy to 
just mark where a post is gonna be. It's pretty level. Look at that, guys. It actually needs to go. Let's see. Come over a little bit more. Look at that. There you go. bit out on that one side. Oh no, going the wrong way. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, look at that, guys. Nice. Looking good, baby. Anyway, but yeah, but at least you'll know Well guys, it's getting a little late. It's almost dinner time. So we're gonna be uh, going and getting some dinner over at our buddy's house. Mm -hmm. Making us some dinner tonight, which is very nice of you. Yep. And we'll be right back at it in the morning. Yeah. What's going on guys? It's the second day. <laughs> <laughs> day number two. Yeah, we came into little snags yesterday when we were filming. Um, a big one was these posts right here. Yeah, it's something we did not think about. Until we put them in the ground. Yep. So, from the top of the deck to the top of that post right here, it's literally only like five feet. Yeah. And I was sitting here looking, and after we, they're not cemented in the ground or nothing right now, guys. They're just sitting there. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh no, dude. Totally forgot that on Thunderdome, we put them on piers. Mm -hmm. So they're above the ground. And so when we were doing this, I was like, oh, we can just use the same post. It'll be the same height. Yeah, yeah. Nope. We were very wrong on that. <laughs> so we had to go to the store. Well, just real quick. What did we do for the pole barn? What size poles did we use for those? Um, those are 10 footers, just like this. But it's a lot lower on the ground. That's true. You know, if, uh, if the deck was way down here, we'd have all that space. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You know you're what I'm right. saying? You're right. So we had to go to the store today. We were planning on going tomorrow, but since we miscalculated, miscalculated this, we got some 12 footers instead of 10 footers. So inside now, there'll be seven foot of space, which is exactly pretty much the same as Thunderdome, mm -hmm. which is what we wanted. Yep. We needed to gain that extra two feet that we put in the ground. Yeah. Got some more fencing. We got a lot of T-posts, about 35 of those. Mm -hmm. Got some cattle paneling. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys know what that's going to be used for. <laughs> got some more concrete. This is plastic visqueen. Mm -hmm. yep. Like I said, I'm sure you guys know what that's going to be used for. Yeah. Got some mail. <laughs> and then this thing, it's upside down, but you guys see what that is? That's like a camping foldable table uh, sink. Yeah. So one of the biggest headaches is what? <laughs> Around here right now. Yeah, right now it's because I'm using the kitchen in the house and it doesn't have running water. So I have to go all the way over to the trailer, which I know it's, it seems like it's a short walk, but sometimes it's, it's kind of lengthy. Well, not when it's dark outside, right? Yeah, and you know, some days I'm, I'm making three or four trips just back and forth between the trailer and the house doing the dinner. So 
especially with doing dishes. And then the lady at the hardware store gave you a really good idea too to use afterwards, right? Yeah, well at first you, you were like, oh, you could use this for a sink. And I was just like, eh, it's really not that long until we'll have running water in there. So I, was, I didn't see the purpose of buying it. But then the lady at the hardware store, she was like, you could use it in your garden to wash your vegetables and stuff. I use mine all the time. And I'm like, that's a really good idea. Yep. Yeah, it's a really good idea. So. So then Roxanne was right on board to yeah. buy that thing. Yeah, it's like, okay, let's get it. Anthony's digging the hole. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these 12 footers out of here. <laughs> I did not load these up, by the way. So I'm sure they're pretty heavy. That one wasn't too heavy. It's probably dry. Probably just got lucky on that one. <laughs> to dig more of this hole is I had the post out here on this side instead of on the inside and I don't know why I did that didn't think about it but if I did that I wouldn't be able to put the header beam across for the awning it's like ah, I gotta dig more out to move it over just a little tiny bit but easy peasy took like two minutes just trying to get the measurement right so we don't have to redo it so many times Measuring and uh, trying to figure things out is no joke, huh, babe? <laughs> we keep messing up. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. We're off by like inch and a half, yeah. two inches, and then we have to go back and, hmm. Like, and then happened? we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. then we figure it out and then we're good. Yeah. Yeah, but I think we're, I think we're okay now. As you guys can see, our plan for this deck, that's um, not sure if you watched the other one, but we're trying to do the whole perimeter frame first because it's going to be so much easier doing these holes that way. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right now we're only putting these in at 10 feet, guys. I forgot to explain this to you, but there's actually going to be posts every five feet around the perimeter. Um, but we're getting these major, these ones are the only ones that are going all the way up and it'll be like all the way up and then up to the deck, all the way up, up to the deck to support the ground because we don't need so many posts going all the way up. It'll look really weird. So we're just marking these big ones for right now. If you guys are running like, man, that's a little big span. <laughs> you know, I'd put more than that. That's what we're planning on doing. Yeah. Good. I will say this, just like standing here looking at it this way, it puts the uh, Thunderdome the deck to shame. <laughs> this is huge. You know, I was thinking right now, babe, this deck 
when we're done with it, the decking and everything is going to cost us a fortune. It's already cost us a fortune and we haven't even put the top on. Uh, that's all right, guys. Or the roof. But it's definitely going to be a pretty penny. Yes, and hopefully last for a really long time. Get our money's worth. I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Finishing marking. Yeah. I guess I could... Well, this is the little last thing. We're going to start putting some of these floor joists in. Yeah, I don't think we'll get them all in today. Maybe, maybe. No, it's getting a little later already, but that's okay. Yeah. But, um, but we were kind of like talking, and I was like, well, aren't we going to put these posts into the ground as well? Yeah. And I was like, we probably should do that before we get the joist up, so... All right, it's been a long day. Yeah, it's a little warm today too. So. Yeah, we took a little bit of break to have some lunch. We sat inside the air conditioner for like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes or so. I wanted to get these posts in here to help stabilize all this stuff. We still do have like posts like this to put in the middle ones like right here and right here and alongside the um, ledger board. But I think that's going to be done tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I think, it's, uh, I think we did pretty good today. I think we're getting we're getting along pretty good. Yeah, and I think it looks really nice. Like yeah. if you, I mean, that's kind of like seeing our uh, dream come reality, really. Yeah. Because we've been talking about for months how the decks going to look on the house. And, it's pretty big, huh, guys? I think it's going to be a big deck. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> deck. It's already a big deck. It's not even done yet. <laughs> and I'm excited for the plans for this area right here, which you guys are going to have to wait to see. But it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> it is really coming now. <laughs> yeah. So we got to go pick up Wyatt, guys. Bus be a, be here in a minute. So I guess we will catch you all on the next one. Bye.